In this lecture, we are going to create our first ASP.NET Core application on Mac OS X, and we're going to utilize the library by installing it from Node.js, Yeoman. And Yeoman, let's go over here if you go to Yeoman, type that. Yeoman is the web scaffolding tool for modern web apps. It allows you to generate Angular, Backbone, and different applications by installing the Yeoman library. And in this case, once we install the Yeoman library, we will be able to generate an ASP.NET Core application. It will scaffold out an ASP.NET Core application once we install Yeoman. So we'll run the commands and then build our first ASP.NET Core app. So right here, I have my terminal up. I'm going to install that command you can see right there. So let's do sudo npm install global yo. Once we do that, it will go ahead and install Yeoman on my device. So now that we have Yeoman installed, let's go ahead and install the ASP.NET Core Generator. So let's do sudo npm install g for global generator dash ASP.NET. Now we're installing the ASP.NET Core Generator associated with Yeoman. Now once we have that installed, let's go ahead and run this via command line. So let's do yo ASP.NET. Actually, let's go ahead to my desktop, CD desktop. Let's do yo ASP.NET. And now what? look what it's saying is we're constantly looking for ways to make yo better. This is for anonymous statistics. You can do this if you want. I'm just going to press no right now. And now it's given me a choice to create an empty application, a console application, a web application, web API. So you have all these different applications already pre-built for you. So in this case, I'm just going to go to a web application. And I'm going to name my web application first Mac App. Once I do that, it already builds my app associated with that. Then what I want to run is CD first Mac app. Once I do that, I want to run DNU restore to pre-build my NuGet packages. And now all of a sudden it has built my NuGet packages associated with my library. Next, what we'll do is we'll look at this in Visual Studio Code and see our application folder structure layout. So it's building all of my NuGet packages associated with different libraries. With Yeoman, it scaffolds out a pre-built ASP.NET Core web application. It pulls in NVC. It pulls in a lot of libraries associated with the project. It makes it easy for you to get started with your ASP.NET Core application. So we're letting this build, and it's running via command line. You can see my first Mac app on my desktop right there. I'm going to let this run. What I can do is I can get Visual Studio Code up and running while this is going. So give it a second. Let's do File, Open. And we're going to open up on my desktop this. As you can see, it's still generating all of these. Some projects have trouble loading. Let's show the output. Give it a second. It's given some issues with the project.json. Let it scaffold it out. And you can see right here in our project, it's already scaffolding out if you've worked with ASP.NET applications previously, you'll see right here you have the model view controller with MVC. You already have pre-built controllers, migrations. It's already given you a database context associated with this. It's given you models. 
It's given you views. It's given you a lot out of the box associated with your ASP.NET Core application. In subsequent lectures, we will examine all of these items to associate with our application. I just wanted to show you that this is a very simple way to scaffold out and build your application. And once you have that set, you can always come over here and type after this DNX web. And this should go ahead and output a local host port to associate your application. If you look right here, this is where your application is running off the local host. So what we can do right here is open the URL and we'll have this in Chrome. Give it a second. And this is your first ASP.NET Core application on Mac OS X. It's similar to the previous one we had on Visual Studio 2015, but this is the pre-built application for us. As you can see, it has just the pre-built page, has the name of the app, first Mac app, home, about. It's already a responsive design application utilizing Bootstrap. The only nice thing about this scaffolded site is that it already builds a lot of the models view controllers and as you can see right here we have the www root that is already building our CSS, our images, our JavaScript files and in the subsequent lectures we will examine all of these items to associate with our scaffolded website. So we have an ASP.NET Core application running on Mac OS X. In the subsequent lecture I will show you how to create this similar application on our Ubuntu desktop, we will create this on Linux. I want to thank you for joining me in this lecture. Have a nice day.